Hey everyone, I'm Courtney Morgan and welcome to your practice. This is a 10 minute neck reset, one of my go-to practices in the middle of the day or the end of the day after working on my computer or looking at my phone or even if I've gone bike riding that day. So for this class, you'll need a strap, you'll need a block, and you'll need a set of yoga tune-up balls. And if you don't have these, that's fine. Two tennis balls or lacrosse balls in a sock works really well too. All right, let's get started. Let's begin in Virasana. So come onto your knees, take your block, place it between your inner ankles, either on the small or the medium setting. And just make sure both sit bones are supported. This is a great posture because it allows the tops of the thighs to open a bit. Find your strap and then Take the strap in your hands and make your hands wider than your shoulders, okay? So with hands wider than shoulders, this should be pretty easy. We don't want it to be too stressful to begin with. On your in-breath, take the arms up. And as you exhale, take the arms behind. And inhale to rise. And exhale, arms come forward. And inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, arms reach back. Inhale to rise and exhale forward. Good. So keeping the spine really long, really tall, keeping the front ribs in. Inhale and then exhale behind. Inhale to rise and exhale to come forward. Keep your hands as they are. Inhale to reach your arms up. Go ahead and take your right arm alongside your ear. Reach your left arm to the side like an L. And we'll take the left arm back and pull down. Reach up through the right hand. Let's just take a couple of breaths here. So the bottom arm is in internal rotation, right? You're trying to turn the palm so that it looks towards the midline of the body. And to stick one more big breath here. And on your next in breath, come back through center, reaching the left arm up, take the right arm to the side, go ahead and turn the palm so it's pointed back, reach the arm back and pull down so it's an internal rotation, and then reach your left arm up in opposition. And breath or two here. This is one of my favorites. I just love the sensation on the outer side of the arm. And as you inhale, come back through center and exhale to release down. Go ahead and take your hands just another step closer. We'll inhale to reach the arms up and then bend the elbows just 90 degrees. Doesn't have to be any lower than that. Take the elbows back. Okay, so as the elbows go back, like when we were just flossing the shoulders, it's tempting to pull the ribs forward, hug them in, okay? Lift up taller through the crown of the head. And just feel this great stretch to the front of the shoulders, pec major, pec minor. One last in-breath here. And then exhale, release all the way. And if that doesn't help you feel a little more open through the front, a little less praying mantis I don't know what will. Go ahead and come to a, a seat on your back. Okay. Block off to the side, have your tune-up balls handy. And then I really like to start with my arms out to the side. Take your feet a little wider than hip distance. As you exhale, take your knees over to the left. Inhale to come to center. And exhale, take your knees to the right. Inhale as you come to center. One more time each side. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale through the center. Exhale, knees to the right. Inhale as you come back through the center. And we'll take those tune-up balls or your tennis balls in your sock. Just make sure they're in there pretty tightly. So if you have a sock, you might need to tie a little knot. Lift your head up and just place the balls so that they're cradling your spine, either side of the spine, just at the base of the neck. Okay? Interlace your hands so that your skull can rest into the cradle of your hands. Hug your elbows in. And then just a little small side to side. All right, this is C7. 
T1, this uh, junction point of the cervical and thoracic spine, and also where the first and second ribs come in, which tend to be a little problematic for a lot of people. Okay. So with your elbows curled in, go ahead and press down through your feet. Lift your hips either a little bit away from the floor or a little more away from the floor. And you'll feel that that changes the pressure. And you'll just give a little roll forward and back, just rolling along the vertebrae of the spine. I'm making sure your shirt doesn't get caught in there. So mine always does. And working your way down, right, in between the shoulder blades. You might find a good spot to just pause and stop. And if that's the case, you can, certainly. And maybe you want to let the hips drop down. Maybe you want the back of the head to drop down again. Maybe you'd like to give a little shimmy side to side just through the upper back with your arms and shoulders one more time. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. And we'll go ahead and release the head, release the arms. Roll onto one side. And make your way onto hands and knees. We'll come back to these in just a moment. From hands and knees, all right, really simple cat-cow. So as you inhale, send the chest forward, arch the back, and as you exhale, round the spine, hugging the front ribs up and in. Inhale as you arch the spine. You might lift the crown. I kind of like to keep my gaze down. As you exhale, round the spine, hug the chin towards the chest. And one more, inhale as you arch the spine. And exhale to round. And inhale to come back to center. Tuck your toes under, get ready for takeoff. Send the hips back, keep the knees bent. And then focus for a moment just on the hands as you root through the palms, make the arms longer, right? And with the arms longer, make the sides of the waist longer. And then slowly, slowly start to unfurl the legs, sending tops of thighs back, heels down and back. Okay, and we'll bend the left knee deeply, lengthen down and back through the right heel. Bend the right knee deeply, lengthen down and back through the left heel. And just pedal through your feet side to side. The Achilles tendon and the neck have a strong relationship. So we like to make sure this area is nice and supple as well. Just moving side to side. And to open up the back of the legs a bit. And then when you can, pause again. Come high on your toes, bend your knees, send the hips up and back, thighs up and back, heels down and back. Take an in-breath here. And then open your mouth, exhale. Another time like that, inhale. Open the mouth as you exhale. Bring the knees down to the floor. Go ahead and come onto your forearms. Bring the hands together to touch in prayer. Elbows right under the shoulders. Tuck the toes up and back. Make your way into this version of a dolphin pose. Okay, so try to send the fingertips forward. Send the hips up and back and really, really strongly press down through the outer edges of the forearms. Your knees can be bent or not. It really doesn't matter. Take one more big breath like this. And then exhale, knees to the floor. Hips reach back. Make your way just into a really simple child's pose. Knees nice and wide, forehead reaching towards the floor. We'll walk our hands over to the left. Lean into the outer right side of the waist. You might try crawling your right fingertips just a little farther away. And then inhale back through center. Walk your hands over to the right. Lean into the outer left side of the waist. And then again, maybe try to just crawl your left fingertips away.
And then inhale as you come back through the center. Make your way up onto hands and knees. And come to a seat. So you can sit cross-legged, you can sit in virasana. Again, both are totally fine. We'll take the balls out of whatever container they're in, so either their carrying case or the sock. And then one ball in each hand. Go ahead and just bring them up to the sides of the neck. And you'll just roll just across the fibers of the neck, all these big cables. Really lovely practice. And just so simple. I think there's something kind of funny that happens when you're sitting on the computer, at least for me, or sitting on my phone. It's like I almost forget that I have a body. I forget that I can breathe. So just taking a little break throughout the day to remember that is really important, really grounding, and feels really good. We're just rolling around, moving through those fibers. And then gently releasing, pausing for a moment. Let your head drop to the left, left ear towards the left shoulder. Turn the head down just a little bit. And inhale to the center. Go ahead and exhale. Take your uh, head to the right, right ear towards the right shoulder. And just gently turning the head down. Coming back to the center. Uh, try to give yourself a little bit of a double chin. So moving the head fully back. And then exhaling to release. Thanks so much for your practice. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Namaste, everybody.